Okay, so now we're at week eight, lesson five. Um, it's on synthetic division, um, which is, again, really, really closely aligned to uh, long division, but it doesn't involve any of the letters, all right? So it's just a lot more numbers. It's, it's sleek, it's beautiful, I just absolutely love it. Okay, but remember how I said on the last lesson that there are some conditions? So here are the conditions. It only works if the leading coefficient of the divisor is one. Okay, so the thing that is doing the dividing, the thing that is on the outside here of the division house, that has to have a leading coefficient of one. Okay, and it only works if that divisor is a binomial. It can only have two terms. Okay, so again, make sure that you have the right conditions to do synthetic division because if you don't, then you're forced. You have to do long division. You don't have an option. Okay, so let's take a look at this problem. All right, so you are definitely able to do this with polynomial long division, but because it, it falls under the right categories, we are like it fulfills the conditions, right? This divisor is a binomial and this number right here is a one. Okay, so this is how this works. You're gonna draw sort of this long T, all right? And on the top in, let me highlight for you, in this area, you are gonna put the coefficients of the dividend, or in other words, you're gonna put the numbers up top that you see in front of the letters. You're gonna put a one, you're gonna put a seven, you're gonna put another one, and a negative 30. A one, a seven, a one, and a negative 30. Okay, over here, and let me highlight this for you in blue. Okay, over here, you are going to put whatever number would make this equal zero. So if I put x plus six equals zero and I solve this, I get negative six. That's the number that goes here. Okay, so that's the setup. Okay, now, it's really easy. Don't let this confuse you. You're gonna bring the first number down, always. The first number just comes straight down. Then you're gonna multiply these two numbers and you're gonna add whatever you get to this number. Okay, so when I multiply, I get negative six. I add that to seven, I get one. Okay, I'm gonna multiply, which gives me negative six. I'm gonna add and get negative five. Okay, then I'm gonna multiply and get positive 30 and add and get zero, which means this is my remainder. Okay, that's my remainder, which is amazing and awesome and cool because it means that this divides evenly into this. It means it's a factor, all right? And then these parts, let me highlight this again in a third color. These numbers are called the coefficients of the depressed polynomial. Let me say that one more time in case you didn't hear me or didn't understand. The coefficients of the depressed polynomial. Okay, now the reason I like to, I, I always sort of use this analogy, it's depressed because it has lost one of its factors, which means this degree, the highest degree that it used to have, it's now one less because it's lost one of them. So this is gonna be an X squared because it's one less. And then you just keep going sort of in descending order. If this is X squared, this is X, and here's my, this is the answer. This is the quotient. It is one X squared. This is a positive one X minus five. That's the quotient. That's the answer. Okay, so we're gonna try another one. Okay, so again, always check, make sure that it follows the, the conditions. This is a binomial and this number is a one. Okay, so here's the setup. I'm gonna put my coefficients right, the numbers that I'm seeing in front of the letters, and I need to make sure I have a number for every letter. So there's a one to go with x cubed, there's a six to go with x squared, there's a seven to go with plain old x, and then there is a constant, okay? Over here, out in front, I need to put whatever would make this equal zero, which would be negative two. Sorry, that's my chair. All right, so now, I'm gonna bring this down and multiply, which gives me negative two, and add that to this six. Then I'm gonna multiply, which gives me negative eight, 
which I'm going to add and get negative 1. I'm going to multiply, which gives me positive 2, and add, which gives me negative 1. So this time I have a remainder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the coefficients of the depressed polynomial. All right, let me switch colors. So if it started out as an x cubed, this is now x squared. This is an x. So here's the quotient. And then this, my remainder, goes over the original divisor. Okay, so let me circle this in red. This is the answer to that problem. Okay, let's try, I think I have one more example. Let's get that up a bit. Okay. Now, um, I'm allowed to use synthetic division because this is a binomial and this is a one. And the number that's going to be out here is a 2. Now, the numbers across the top, it's not just a 1, a negative 3, and a negative 20, right? I need to have a number for every power from 5 all the way down. Let me, let me show you what I mean. This is 1x to the 5th. This is 0x to the 4th. This is 0x to the 3rd. This is negative 3x squared. This is 0x, and this is negative 20. Here's kind of a little, um, like a little tip, a little trick to help you remember. If this number is a 5, then there better be 6 numbers across the top. Okay, whatever the highest degree is, there's always going to be one more. And I think I've got 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, I do. Okay, here we go. You bring the first number down. Then you multiply. You get 2 and you add. Okay, I'm gonna multiply and get four, and I'm gonna add. Then I'm gonna multiply, I'm gonna get eight, and I'm gonna add. I'm gonna multiply and get 10, and add. Multiply and get 20, and when I add, I get zero. Okay, that's real cool. That means that it is a factor. It means it does divide in evenly. Let me get rid of some of these extra marks that I don't need. All right, so now, as far as what the answer is, if I started out right here with x to the fifth, this is going to be 1x to the fourth, because it's depressed, plus 2x to the third, plus 4x squared, plus 5x, plus 10. That would be your quotient.